everyone welcome to my channel today uh, we will discuss about uh, assumption of multivariate analysis of variance in our software i made a tutorial regarding to uh, manova assumption before but i forget to include multivariate normality assumption and the multi uh, test uh, among the variables so today we will cover this uh, uh, topic and uh, the metan package help us to get this uh, data for uh, practice and the tediverse for data manipulation, especially for this one, and R statics helps for computing the multivariate normality assumption because we will use this uh, one. So, on the basis of this, if you want to view our data, here is our uh, data and uh, response variable or the, uh, the agronomic trait will serve us uh, as a dependent uh, variable. And um, uh, if you want to complete univariate normality assumption, there are a number of uh, tests like uh, Shapiro, Kolomogorov, Anderson, and etc. So we will use this uh, Shapiro underscore test, for example. Here is our data. Then uh, let's uh, omit this one in order to reduce uh, confusion. And uh, here is our data name. Our data name is data underscore G. Then we will use the pipe sign. Then group by means our treatment or our factor. Here is a gene. Gene means it is a genotype that's composed of uh, 11 uh, genotype. And uh, uh, then the parameter that I want to uh, check the assumption is here EL, which stands for the maze ear length, ear diameter, number of kernel per ear and the pH standards for plant head. So if I type this and send it to our studio, uh, I, 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 as you can see here, this, the, this is the genotype, here is the response variable or the agronomic trait or the dependent variable and the statistics also displayed here and the p-value. So when we check the p-value, uh, if, if uh, p-value greater than 0 0.5 uh, that means uh, the assumption of normality is not violated or the assumption for the normality is met so all these values when we see the last column are greater than 0 0.05 so uh, there is uh, no violation in uh, univariate normality for our agronomic trait then uh, our aim is not that one our aim is to compute the multivariate normality assumption so in order to do you have to use the m shapiro underscore test the difference between this and this as you can see there is m m standards uh, that are is to consider for a multivariate instead of univariate so m is for multivariate uh, uh, normality assumption then uh, let's start here is our data name then you have to use a pipe then select which parameter you want you want to compare for example i want for the ear length for the ear diameter for the number of kernel uh, per ear and for the planted and again use this uh, pipe then m shapiro m shapiro underscore test help us to compute a multivariate normality assumption so type this and submit to our studio then as you can see here the p-value is less than 0 0.05 that means the assumption uh, of normality uh, the assumption of multivariate normality is violated because the p-value is less than uh, 0.05 which is 0 0.03 however multivariate is not highly multivariate analysis is not highly affected by the violation of normality test. Then alternatively, you can also use, for example, here is M Shapiro underscore test, then you have to indicate your data name, then you can select which column that you want. For example, if I want uh, to select, if I want um, uh, to check the multivariate assumption uh, for the parameter that starts uh, from the column three up to column five. So, Column 3 up to column 5 means uh, planted. EH and EP is uh, the uh, agronomic trait that I want to check their multivariate uh, 
uh, multivariate normality assumption. So Ordonnance believe you can use this uh, technique. And the other one is the multicollinearity among uh, the, vari uh, the variables. And uh, uh, as all of you know that multicollinearity is it's a huge problem. So how to check in uh, R is you have to use the correlation matrix. And if you remember, I also made a tutorial regarding to the uh, multicollinearity uh, analysis using the variance inflation factor. If your VIF is uh, less than zero, we, we will not consider as a multi uh, collinearity problem. Alternatively, you can use the correlation matrix. So uh, use uh, your data, then uh, connect using this pipe, and here is the correlation matrix, then the parameters that you want. So here is EL, uh, ED, and KE, and plant. So type this and submit to R Studio. Then if you get the value that uh, if, if the values that is or uh, are greater than 0 0.9 both sides because correlation is uh, range between negative one up to positive one. So if the value that close to uh, or above to 0 0.9 in both sides are considered as a multicollinearity. Unfortunately, uh, there is no uh, there is no value in terms of magnitude that indicates 0 0.9. So we will consider that there is no multicollinearity problem among this response or agronomic or dependent variables. So this is all about today's tutorial. As usual, you have to provide your variable suggestion, comment, and question uh, to uh, my YouTube channel. And if you are new for my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and share uh, to your friends. Until the next tutorial, have a nice time and see you.